Mid-August. It was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before the school year resumed. Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes one and two spent summer away from Trista. Oh, Selene was over there. Meanwhile, classes three through five were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of class seven and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students. So hot, I'm dying in here. I'm sick of this heat already. Talking about it just makes me feel even hotter. Academy should install orbital air conditioning. At least then it'd be a little easier to cope. I can actually tolerate the heat pretty well. It's mid-June when I'm recording this and I've just got a stealing fan going above me. I'm pretty all right. Yeah, I know what an air conditioner is. Yeah. <laughs> Prohibitively expensive. Yeah, that'd be nice. Of course, I work in a warehouse where it's hot and dry even in the dead of winter. Yeah. Good point. Whenever you saw my father's mansion, do you think I'd go back to that place willingly? Yeah, take my chances with heat stroke. <laughs> Four great houses. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not really seeing where you're going with this, Usus. Yeah. Erebonia is on the verge of full scale civil war within its own borders.
Excuse me. I'll have you know I did no such thing. What? Today. Today. Instructor? Good morning, instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. You overslept? And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. Next one's the 10th seat. What? A transfer student at this time of year? S seriously? All right, come on in. Righto. Crow. Huh? Crow? But, but isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. It's going to be pretty sweet, guys. What's your angle? What? What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. <sighs> I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. Then he came crying to me in a panic, like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah. They're not going to let me graduate. <laughs> so as a special exception, he's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Okay. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? I don't do any of that. Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else too? Huh? Are you serious? Oh. I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. Ugh, I thought you forgot I was out in the hall. Lammy, uh, this girl. <laughs> what? What? You must be joking. Hey, aren't you? You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers, long time no see, guys. of you I don't know, so I guess I better introduce myself. Milliam. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. And this here is Eric Gatlam, but we'll just call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? Lammy. Holy crap. It's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's going to get chewed out for it. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> anyway. Nice to meet you guys. You're chipper. There's only 10 seats, though. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding. Please? I really wish I could. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. <sighs> well, it should be interesting.
Okay, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. No eyes numbered only a few. But I see several warriors from Nord. Okay. Well known superior. She's chipper. I kind of like her. Uh, the Lance Maiden. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Ah! Well, that didn't tell me anything. Let's go with the top one. Okay, I just guessed. I like how Ro is asleep back there. Tomorrow's a free day. Next Wednesday is... Okay. All rise and bow. Okay. Uh, Lamp, uh, Milliam and Elise snuggled up together taking a nap. Like kittens. Fan artists, to your tablets. She can't be more than 12 or 13. She's practically a child. Gaius, you're 16. V is 15. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. Oh. Okay.
capricious gambling addict, way too prone to ante up for every hand. Yeah, that's that would be Crow. Hadios, help us. You can count on him when the chips are down, though. Yeah. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Ah, oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing, I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? Oh, wait, there was only one vacant room in the dormitory, so that means Milliam or Crow is going to be bunking with someone. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late. Maki is to be in the chess club. And speak of the devil. Yeah. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right. I'll be sure to pass this on to Million next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm. All I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Mm hmm Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. They can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. Yeah. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's anyway. Because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Oh, you poor thing. Whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his class seven work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. 
Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Crow in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Neat. My fish are hungry and I got a cat that's swimming upside down. It's not dead, it is swimming upside down. Catfish are weird. Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13-year-old girl. She's 13? Yeah, I get what you mean. So, she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. Well, she's quite chipper, I've noticed. <laughs> Now, where have I heard of someone like that before? B. Or maybe Toa? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, alright. Excuse me, then. Hello? Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Hello, Sarah. Are you still on the Academy grounds, by any chance? How could you know? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker, so could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. Well, wait a second, when did I become the... <sighs> <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Absolutely. Of course. I'll be around. I'm trying to get comfortable on still, my couch I know here. you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. Engineering building.
Wait, what? I mean, you realize that I always side with my lovely ladies. Jim. Well, I got time to fish. Sucker. Rank up. Crayfish, some people call them. They're a little freshwater crustacean, kind of looks like a little lobster. Pretty good to eat. Huh. One of these things again. Catch! back later if I want. These two look similar. Are they sisters? Yep! second level. Yes, you do.
She's certainly something else. Swift, blissful, but swift. Leave it to me. Why am I going there with B? No. Go. Kind of disappointing. It would have been a nice touch, attention to detail, but doesn't matter. Practice field. She drag Usus into the stables. Someone please escort her far, far away from the stables. Why do you have to be so stubborn, you sis? You are certainly something else. You must get that from your dad. That's a sore subject. That is a sore subject. His relationship with us with your with his father is what we would be called complicated. Increasingly irritated uses. <laughs> you little. And the school. It's like the third, the rooftop. Nowhere to run. Well, wait. You have Lammy. Never mind. You oh, you have everywhere to run. Fucking sky is the limit for you. Wow, quite wait, literally. There's so much cool stuff here. So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftops like. Hiya guys! Did you come looking for me again? Don't give me that. Sure thing. Oh, she's shocked. What? 
Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. And Crow's made himself at home. Welcome back, everyone. Just been making myself at home here. C Crow? What are you doing here? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now, so I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. What? Well, that was quick. But man, Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. I don't drink coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join Class 7 months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Hmm. Looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep, us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> he must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. Hmm, I don't think there's any harm in a warm welcome, at least. Or <laughs> oh, stop, you're making me blush. But you know what they say, there's no place like Chrome. That, 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 that hurt. Oh, and if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Sure, Gotta get back to in the groove you. with my Arcus again, after all. Happy to have you. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. Yeah. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come too. Sure, why not? Uh, how did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. Yeah, please don't. She would too. Oh, I believe her. All right, all right, have it your way. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! So exciting! I might not even be able to sleep tonight! It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. That is a theme park to her. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight. Yeah, you really should clean up your pistols. Powerful strike and finishing and protective wall. Yeah. Signs and omens. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time <coughs> on Trails of Cold Steel as I hang out in the dormitory. But until then, I also got the field study in the old schoolhouse. I got stuff to do, but I'm going to end this one here. Dark Seraph, signing off.